All right, guys, here we are. I'm installing a post uh, and I didn't want to use cement. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of digging the hole and pour pouring cement. I've done it once, not a fan. Uh, I've seen these on the TV or YouTube and these are a post support. Uh, this is a 24 inch and they make them as deep as like 30, 36 inch. I thought it was kind of excessive. But um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the basics here. Uh, I'm installing the hose link. I'm going to have it facing out so I can go down this hallway and all the way to the front. You just need your basic tools here is the spike. What I did was I chopped a piece of the wood off. I only, this is a four foot post. These are four by fours. I chopped off about seven inches here. This is going to be our tool to hammer this into the ground. And then I have just your basic level. That way we can see that we're going straight, oops, this way, straight up and down. When the bubble is in the middle, that term is called plumb. Didn't know that, went and looked that up because I saw other people talking about plums. So yeah, we're just gonna hammer this thing into the ground and then a lot of times we're gonna panic because this piece of wood gets stuck in there and then I'll show you guys how to take that out. It's really simple. And then after that, we're gonna put the post in and then we just tighten this thing down and set the hose reel on there, man. This thing is nice a piece of cake. Solid. Let's do it. I'm just gonna start by pushing this thing in. And what also helped is that it rained, so the ground, the ground is a little bit softer. But, uh, you know, I don't know if you wanna water the ground beforehand. I don't know if people do that. I mean, it would make sense. So, you know, just to soften it up a little bit. And then, oh yeah, our main tool, which is right here, is the trusty old duct taped sledgehammer. So when we're doing this, we don't want to, you know, do big slams. It's, uh, you know, you're using the natural weight of the sledgehammer. You're gonna let the tool do the work. So here we are, it's plumb. And now we're just, tapping it. See how... And then now we're going to stop every so often and just make sure we are plumb. Plumb. Term is ridiculous, but there's probably meaning behind it. So we're just going to keep doing this a little at a time. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and hammer this down real quick. You guys don't need to hear me keep saying plum, and then I'll show you and it's done. Stop. Time. All right, so this thing is really in there and I've used this a couple times and smashed the top in there, but I got this little crowbar, it's helped me out and just hammer it a little bit on the side. And then I hit all the corners and see if it'll come out and it's not. Then I also tried pulling up and hammering it. Just trying to get a grip on it. Trying to wiggle this thing out. It's moving. But then, while this fails, take this thing, because we do tighten it on here. If we can get, we got it in on this side. Kind of prying it out. It's really in there. So. Now we've kind of moved it. Oh, come on. Ha! Oh, people's champ. So, a lot of these videos don't show that. You know, it's a pain to get it out, but just prying it out and just so you know, you're slamming it down so it gets stuck. So now, all we gotta do is install our last piece. So what I did was, I'm installing this hose reel here and I did all the work prior to. I marked up the piece of wood with the little kit that they give you, drilled all the holes, hammered in the anchors. Let me tell you, if you ever do anchors, make sure you always have extra because I broke one because I didn't bore it out enough. And then after that, got it all installed on the ground because you don't want to do this when it's in the post because it's just, it's a pain. So I elected to do this, point this on the outside because I am going to be swiveling 180 this way and I want to be able to get my car so this thing's going to be sticking out here it's going to seem silly but I need it to water here and water here because I'm a hose dragger and now 
we got to tighten it. So before I tighten it, just a little couple love taps. This thing takes a half inch. These things are powder coated, so they're not supposed to rust. This is so simple. This is so much better than digging a hole and, you know, making the cement mix and just uh, a lot of unnecessary work. You know, this thing is nice and tight. Look at this. Nice and solid. No need for cement. Boom. Look at that. These hoses are sick, by the way. Hose link. Get the link down low. I work with them. They're awesome. Garden hose. But yeah, so now we can go all the way down that way. All the way down at you. Then it gets my driveway. And now this will be in the way of me mowing, but I didn't want it by the house. So plus two, I had some pipes going along here. So if you make it to the end, that's why I did it so far away from the house because I don't know what the hell's underneath there. So I know it's clear out here because I put this dirt here. So all right, guys, hopefully this helped you out and hit the subscribe button and check me out on Instagram, whatever. And uh, yeah, man, no cement, just use the spike. It's better. See ya.